What's up guys, I'm Mazhat Ahmed and this is our new tutorial on networking. We are going to show you how you can connect two PCs with each other by using a uh, LAN cable. Let me first introduce you myself, I'm uh, Vakas Ahmed, Vajahat YouTube's partner and today we are working on a tutorial and I'm uh, helping out Vajahat Ahmed on his uh, networking tutorial. So we have two uh, laptops, Fujitsu and uh, IBM, uh, both have uh, Windows 7 operating system. 64-bit operating systems installed and uh, there is also a networking cable of course we will uh, do the networking share, uh, sharing uh, via a networking cable. Now we are going to connect uh, the LAN cable with one PC like this. Make sure it is connected uh, perfectly and now connect the other end with your uh, second PC like this. Now I'm here at the uh, PC1 uh, and I want to share my E drive in my computer. So just make sure that you disable your Wi Fi at both PCs. And uh, to, uh, to share my drives, what I would need, I would need to enter the IP settings for that. So I will access the Open Networking and Sharing Center and then I will go to Local Area Connection, that is uh, my LAN connection right now, as you, as you can see. Um, then I will access the properties and uh, then the internet protocol version 4 properties so here you can see uh, the five uh, IP address are automatically set right now here but uh, for that and for now we need to enter the IP and what I would enter uh, just make um, keep in mind that uh, as we are not using internet so that uh, IP should not uh, they can be valid but it is actually not necessary we can enter invalid IPs as well for now I am entering 192.168 dot one dot two zero you press the tab button it will automatically um, enter the subnet mask <laughs> now I will uh, I don't I just don't think that I need to fill up the rest of these um, the, that is the power gateway proper DNS server alternate DNS server just leave it here like that so now we are at PC2 and uh, I will do the same here at this PC as well but I would enter a uh, different IP but not not totally different but similar and uh, let me just show you here doing the same exact things properties if you remember uh, at the PC1 I entered 192.168.1.20 but this would make these both uh, this would make uh, both addresses of this PC the same as we know in our daily life the different residences can't have the same address so we would try something different a little different but similar so this is here to one we press the tab button again and press OK. Now our PCs are connected to each other. Now as you want to share this E drive, so what I would do, I would access the properties of this drive and uh, then I will access uh, the sharing tab here and I would then go into the advanced settings, advanced sharing. Make sure you mark this share this folder and uh, in permissions, it is up to you how much control you want to give it to the other PC user. Right now, I am giving it a full control so that uh, when the other guy accesses this drive, he has a full uh, he she has a full control over it. He can delete the data, he can read it, he can modify the data, whatever he wants. Okay. So if I unmark this full control and if I just uh, mark the read. And uh, so that you just don't want to let other users ruin your data and other users modify your data. So this option is meant for you then. But right now I'm using a full control option. So I'm applying it here. Okay. Okay. Um, sometimes user get a problem um, with the security when they access it from the other user. It gives some kind of error. I'll make sure that you have added everyone. Uh, to here in uh, security group of users who can access uh, your uh, PC. If it is not added, what you will do, you will go into the advanced settings and uh, then you will change permissions and you will add and uh, again you will access the advanced menu and you will find with whom you want to share your data with. So there would be everyone here like this and if the everyone user is not added into your security then you will click the OK button but right now I'm not going to do that as everyone is already already added there so this is it now I'm going back to the other PC so now we are almost done 
now access the start menu and uh, type double slash and uh, the IP of the PC one that is 192.168.1.2 so you click this button you will get your e drive share the drive you have shared I click this and this is my data at the other PC now and uh, for example I want to copy a movie uh, Furious 6 let's copy this control C and uh, I can even uh, cut this folder now as uh, you know I have uh, given a full control this to this PC user now cross this session and uh, control V and you can see this is a 930 MB data and it, it is transferring the data at 10 MB per second speed now if you share your data via Wi-Fi it will transfer your data at 1 MB transfer speed so that is a kind of very slow thing so I would suggest you share your data via networking yet. so this is how it, wo it works thanks for watching our video and uh, please uh, subscribe our, uh, to uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, leave a comment if you have any problems we would be very very keen to help your problems thank you very much